We will have a first ballot on Wednesday and a second ballot is likely on Thursday. We expect uh, 20 supporters uh, for each candidate, a proposer and a seconder who will be public, and 18 others. Uh, we'll also expect that on the first ballot, any candidate to proceed must have uh, won at least 30 votes from parliamentary colleagues. Uh, any questions? Yes. And some will say that you're discriminating against the lesser-known candidates. What we try to do is find a balance where we're making sure the parliamentary stages are concluded reasonably rapidly before the summer recess, uh, but we do believe we can have that proper discussion within the party. Obviously, we know our parliamentary candidates already. We do need to make sure there's a decent period of time before the result is announced on the 5th of September. Uh, we need to make sure there's a reasonable amount of time for the party membership in the country to have a chance to meet and question the candidates uh, at regional hustings. And so, so just to be clear, 5th of September, September is the deadline the, uh, for... Of the sorry, so, gr so yes, Graham, sorry, if I can ask. Just to be clear, when do you want to get down to the final two? What's the date for that? Well, we'll get down to the final two as quickly as that happens. Uh, we will have successive ballots until that happens. Uh, I would hope uh, that we will do it relatively quickly. Uh, we will have the first two ballots this week and then begin uh, ballots next week, probably on Monday. And it may be that we reach the final two at that point. On what Monday. Long time talking to the board just now. Um, is there some dispute? Do they want a, a longer contest? When do you want the vote of uh, party members to be completed? Well, I think the result uh, should be announced on the 5th of September, uh, which will be when the House returns from the summer recess. Uh, I think that's a perfectly reasonable timetable. Uh, what the party board and the volunteers on the party board were very keen to ensure is that there were going to be sufficient opportunities for hustings meetings around the country and we've reached a, a satisfactory agreement on that. I think, I think the agreement was about a dozen, but that may include some digital online meetings. Um, so, Greg, can I jump back in? I, it seems to be a, quite a big field at the moment, uh, a lively uh, contest. Uh, I hope we will have a uh, very constructive uh, contest, uh, but a, a really good opportunity for a proper, healthy, constructive debate about the future direction of the Conservative and so, Party. So, Graham, can I just, if you, can you just, I just reflect on what's gone on? Because you've set a quite a high threshold here, but this is a terrible distraction for the country, for the party, for the government, at a time when the economy is in difficulty, people are facing a cost of living crisis. Number one, you want to get this over quickly. Number two, you are surely worried about your party's reputation in this absolute mess. I'm very keen that we get this uh, concluded as smoothly, cleanly and rapidly as possible. And certainly we should have a conclusion and a new leader of the party elected uh, and announced on the 5th of September. Are you worried about the party's reputation, sir? I think this is a great opportunity for us, for us to have a really good, constructive debate about the future of the party. I think it will be a healthy thing to do, and we will have that result in a few weeks' time. Uh, Sir Graham, as uh, representative of backbenchers, chairman of the 1922, are you comfortable that Boris Johnson will remain as caretaker till September the 5th? Well, this is a simple constitutional principle in this country. A prime minister remains prime minister until there is a successor. Uh, so that is... Uh, that's not my responsibility. Uh, we are dealing with our responsibilities as quickly as we reasonably can. Thank and you very Sir much. Graham, just one more thing. Were you surprised when the Prime Minister, when you went to see him on Wednesday, that he didn't resign at that point when you told him he didn't have the support of the party? Were you surprised? I think much will be uh, written on this subject and we'll have uh, lengthy discussions and debates about it into the future. Uh, the crucial thing is that we've arrived at the point we're at and we now have a very clear plan uh, to take things forward and, and resolve the leadership question. Sir Graham, just a final question. Was there any mention in the meeting that anybody that goes forward into this contest will have to guarantee that they will go to the postal ballot at the moment? Yes, we're very keen on that. So uh, I certainly I will be seeking assurances when we get towards that uh, later point. Thank you very much.